So we're hanging out in our sustainable homes and we want to go explore what's around us. How are we going to get there? Electric vehicles. I had the opportunity to speak with Clean Tech San Diego about the rise of electric vehicles in our cities. Let's go check it out. Next winner is the collaboration that is scaling success to deliver region-wide impact. So congratulations, Clean Tech San Diego. We are here with Shannon Bresnahan of Clean Tech San Diego. Shannon, thank you so much for being on Going Green, of course. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me. So tell us what you guys at Clean Tech San Diego are doing with smart cities. Sure. Um, so Clean Tech San Diego is a, a nonprofit, member-based organization that we're really trying to to move the clean tech industry forward for the whole San Diego region. We work with a lot of private companies and cities to do that. And in recent years, we've been much more involved in smart cities efforts because what, things we do that are good for the environment are often technologies that are reducing energy, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, saving cities money. So there's a very clear overlap between green, clean technologies and smart cities solutions. So the Smart Cities Council brought Smart Cities Week to San Diego this year. It's a national conference. It's held in Washington, D.C. and California. It's the first time they've held it in San Diego. So we're extremely proud to showcase what our city, our region has with regard to smart city leadership. Tons of familiar faces here, people from the port, our airport, the military, the police departments, many, many cities and all the solution providers are here. So it's, um, it's been a lot of fun, familiar faces and, and inspirational conversation. Well, you guys are doing great stuff. What overlap are you seeing in terms of creating a sustainable city and the technology that goes with mm -hmm, it? Mm -hmm. um, cities more and more are adopting climate action plans. Here in San Diego, we have a very ambitious climate action plan, one of the, the strongest in the nation. We have goals for 100% renewable energy. So the technologies, we need technologies to meet those goals. Um, we have great ideas, but it's not always clear how we're going to get there in 10, 15, 25 years. Um, so things like solar solutions, things like smart street lights, which are keeping the, the energy costs down for a city and also monitoring the air and how greenhouse gas emissions are, are, are moving. Um, these are the kind of solutions that cities see are that are green, clean, sustainable, save money. And then of course that they're smart, the smart city solutions. So what are some short term things you're seeing in terms of technology? Mm -hmm. And then what's like the oh, yeah. dream come true? thing mm -hmm. that you want to see 15, 20 years from now. Sure. I mean, one example would be electric vehicles are very much a, a solution we see now. People are driving them, um, but not everyone is yet. So that's something that cities are grappling with in, in the moment right now on the ground, getting more charging stations, helping people understand that um, you can drive an electric vehicle and make it as far as you need to go and having all of those points in your home and your workplace to keep that energy flowing and your car moving. Um, go from there, what about autonomous vehicles? That's the next, I think, generation, for example, of how cities are gonna have to work together for, for moving these driverless cars from city to city. Um, what kind of regulations and rules need to be in place that are shared that make sure that that's safe and that can't just stop at the edge of one city before the next city. So you're driving through a lot of cities when you're in these vehicles. So I'd say that's one example of kind of the now and the future. Mm -hmm. um, and we have an, electric, an autonomous vehicle proving ground here in the San Diego region, um, in San Diego and Chula Vista. Drones are another thing that we're talking about in these sessions um, and testing those out for solutions. So there, there's a lot of exciting stuff on the horizon and things that we can all do you know, right now that has to do with um, being part of the smart city movement. So what are some things that the average person can do to push in the right direction as well as get involved and mm -hmm. really just make a difference on an individual basis? Um, I'd say when people are open to being an early adopter of these sorts of technologies, um, in San Diego we have 32,000 electric vehicle drivers, that's a lot and, and we, need, we can see more of that. Um, I think it, it goes beyond electric vehicles of course, but being open to embracing innovation and letting our cities take those risks for our for our benefit at the end of the day government is sometimes a very slow moving place to get things done we're not known in cities for being super uh putting our neck out very much so what's cool about this conference and these conversations is these are the people who are saying we want to try different things and we want to do it for our citizens so having some of that trust and encouragement for your city government to go ahead and yeah, try that stuff, we're ready. And, and that's what's great about San Diego. I feel like people embrace that very well. 
Well, you guys are doing a ton of amazing stuff in terms of educating the public. The public's consumer choices also tend to drive you know, the way technology is growing and built within cities like this. So thank you so much for everything you're doing. And I know we're going to see you next episode on Going Green as well. Yes. So, or not you, but Jason. Yes. Thanks. So, we're very excited. Thanks yeah. to Going Green. Awesome. For sharing our stories. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming on. Absolutely. Appreciate it. We'll be right back with more Going Green.